Hi, this is Tim Just, the 8020TD. THE 80-20TD.com. Today we're going to look at how to make pairings with WinTD Part 1. Highlight your section, go to the section pull down menu, and pair around. This is round one. This is where you can change the effort level 10, I don't know, 20, 5, 1, whatever you'd like and you can have the program select white or you can select white based on a coin flip or whatever policy you have. It's done making pairings so in order for you to inspect them to make sure they're right every TD is responsible for the pairings not the program. Click on the G button show games current round and here's the games for this section starting with board one through board seven. Notice this fellow here he has a buy. In the next video will show you how to take care of this by person. One of the little tricks that you're going to find makes your life easy is to hit this little minus button and notice down here that screen is shrunk. You can do that for every section and then it becomes quite easy in order to find the game where you want to enter a result in a section. Alright, let's go on to the reserve section. Uh, let's see, we had we had seven boards in the other section and sometimes people enter or I need extra boards so I'll tell you what let's make this starting board board number um, board number 10 it should give us plenty of wiggle room okay let's make those pairings section pair around everything stays the same let's look yep and it looks like somebody has a buy there let's check the last round alright let's pair that son of a gun let's see you know something we didn't check on the reserve section we didn't check how many boards were used yeah we had 15 boards it looks like we need may need a few more okay we're in the booster section. Let's pair around. This all stays the same. Let's look at those games and oh my goodness we forgot to change the board numbers. That's easy to fix. Highlight the games. Go over to the games pull down menu and change the board numbers. Well let's see seems to me that starting at board uh, 20 ought to work out just fine here. And look what happens. It changed to board 20 and 21. Yes, we have a buy. And we're going to look at in the next section how to handle these buys. Rink it down. Notice it still says board 60 is our board number that for our starting board here. You need to change it in two places one you needed to change it on the pairing so when you printed them they look great and everybody can find their board and also you need to change it on this screen which I just double clicked on and now it's changed here the extra game section can have any board numbers you want because you're gonna put those extra games any place you want there's one other little trick that's gonna make your life pretty easy before we look at how to do the pairings here <clears throat> when we print them out something that I like to do is I like to highlight all the sections and I like to hit this P button and get all messed up that's not the 80-20 way the 80-20 way would be go to sections and you want to list the players combined sections this is everybody in alphabetical order you can change the way this screen looks if you go to edit change layout you can move things back and forth and sort differently I kind of like it the way it is this allows you to easily withdraw players, find a player to double click on them and give them buys later on, and en masse withdraw players. We're going to also shrink that one down. All right, let's go back to the open section. You know, there's a pairing that's wrong here. Well, it's really not wrong. We're just going to show you how to change something. I don't like the colors here let me change the colors that's easy click on the game grab the player with your mouse with 
the left mouse button and slide it over and it'll ask if that's the switch you want to make and you say okay let's do that again click on the player drag them over to where you want that player to be and it switches the two players it doesn't only work between boards you can switch this fellow with this fellow if you want look at this I click on it I go up and stop with the player I want to switch it asks if I want to switch I say okay actually I want to switch that back so let's look at it again I click on the player I'm gonna move I move him to the spot where I want him and the two players are switch as a matter of fact you can even switch with the buy watch this now player that was playing black has the buy let's switch him back this is quite a handy little tool we're all ready to print these we'll go up to the print button click it now the default is that there's one pairing sheet if I have a big tournament uh, we're gonna need to print one pairing sheet for the player so they can mark the results and we're gonna need another pairing sheet for the section chief and if you're running a scholastic you're probably going to need a third pairing sheet for a volunteer to take the results as the players leave the room or for your TDs to hand in the results on little sheets of paper that players have already signed that they've won lost drawn or whatever they've done but you're going to need you have to determine what your needs are I need two of these and I'm also going to have at least one sorted alphabetically in big tournaments this is really helpful for someone finding their name and getting to their board quickly here we go it's printing out again I'm gonna shrink that window let me finish printing stuff like this out for you by the way let me show you one more trick before I reprint this one if you don't like these pairings or there's some reason you want to get rid of these pairings one of the things you can do is highlight the pairings. Please don't highlight the buys, you'll be sorry. And you can clear them. By the way, you can get those pairings right back by simply clicking on the section, I believe this is the reserve section, and doing the pairings again. Section, pair around, blah, 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 blah. Okay it's paired and all your pairings came back by the way if we hadn't done anything else and this screen came up and you knew instantly that the pairings were wrong if you go to edit you'll see an undo pairings if you click that you'll notice something really interesting it only undoes everything except the requested buys please don't ever delete the requested buys they'll be gone and you'll end up pairing them Interestingly, if you made a mistake and said, yeah, I really like those pairings, it'll redo them for you. That was under edit. All right, let's print this out. And we're going to shrink it down for later. Let's do the last one, booster. Let's, oops, they're down at the bottom, aren't they? Let me make this smaller. Let me go find my booster section. Here it is. I'm going to print that one out. We've now ended how to make pairings part one. In the very next section, part two, we're going to look at how to deal with housemen, how to deal with the extra game sections, change the layout so that when you print them, they do have a different look to them, and how to do manual pairings. See you next time.